Um, so hi class. Um, yeah, in the previous class we talked about um, uh, the tensor uh, input pipeline, the tf data, and uh, we saw about uh, you know how you can extract data and how you can do some transformations and uh, some data argumentation. So now we're going to now um, build our models. But before we build our models, we need to understand uh, some concepts. So normally we use, uh, um, for image classification, the, the convolutional neural networks are very uh, applicable. So I'm going to give you an introduction, uh, just a brief introduction on these uh, convolutional neural networks and uh, before we go on with the coding. So let's uh, get just, uh, you need to understand just some few concepts. So let me so, so these are just uh, types of neural networks that uh, are used to, uh, they used to capture some spatial as well as temporal dependencies in an image. And uh, when I talk about spatial, I mean, uh, like the differences of pixel values between nearby um, nearby picture elements. So these uh, convolutional neural networks are very good at capturing that. And uh, another uh, another thing uh, why these uh, convolutional neural networks are now popular is because that they reduce uh, the complexity of uh, doing these uh, when you're building your models. So um, it's it makes it easier instead of like observing each and everything, you just capture what is, uh, like if you capture the edges, you capture what is really important, is what is what is going to be captured by this convolutional neural networks. And uh, it's, it's they are good because also you can, if you have very large data sets, uh, when, you when you use convolutional neural networks, it becomes even faster than using just the, these other fit forward networks without any convolutions. And uh, with convolution neural networks, uh, they are, you have to have uh, three types of layers. You have the convolutional layer, which uh, you have the input data, then you pass a filter on that uh, input layer, and uh, you get a feature map. And the other, and, and the other thing is that you have a pooling layer. Um, you can have convolution neural networks. I mean, convolutional layer following the next layer being a pooling layer or yeah, so we'll see how we can uh, we can use that and which activation functions we will use that. And then the the other part, uh, the the one that connects to the output is the fully connected layer, which is a vector, uh, what dimensional vector, a vertical. Uh, so uh, we'll see that. And uh, one thing you should not do within the convolutional layer, it does is the dot dot matrix multiplication. Like, um, like this is what I was talking about actually. So if you have an image, let's say you have an input image here. So the next layer can be a convolutional layer with let's say this rectified in a unit as the activation function. And then you have a pooling layer, we'll see what a pooling layer. Then you, the next layer can also be a, a, another convolutional layer with the, this ReLU activation, a pooling layer. So it goes on like that depending on the, the intermediate layers, the, the, the dense line, I mean, the layers in the middle. So, and uh, then at the end is when you, you can flatten it and then the fully connected layer that connects so that if you have a car, like an input head determines, determine uh, how it depends on, like I said before, the number of classes that are within your, what you wanna predict. So, um, like, uh, so this is how the convolution, uh, this is just a um, high level um, overview. So this is what it actually does. So you will have a matrix, which is the input layer here. The input image has a lot of uh, red, the red G and B, like you, if you have three channels and a lot of pixels. So this, you pass a filter on it. So the filter, most of the time is just a three by three matrix. So this filter is then passed and then the product of this filter, which is the feature map now becomes the dot multiplication after passing this, uh, if you multiply this and this, all this, if you do a uh, dot multiplication, you, you get this uh, this value. So this becomes a feature map. This is what is passed there again to the next layer. 
And uh, the pooling layer is just similar to the conventional layer, only that uh, with this, uh, you pass also filter is passed th throughout. And uh, there are two types, it says a max, max pooling, and which max pooling, for instance, if you have a filter, max pooling gets the, uh, the maximum value here. For instance, if you pass your filter here to get the maximum value of, of this. So it goes uh, getting the maximum values, the average pooling, just like its name, just gets the uh, it scans and gets the average value. And uh, you can see here, like for instance, the maximum pooling gets twenty, it gets thirty to get the maximum values. And here to get the average, the average value. That's how this pooling works. But at the one that is commonly used is the maximum pooling. It's the one that is really used. Uh, and uh, another thing about uh, pooling is that it has, it does this uh, di dimensionality reduction, it reduces the dimensions, but it also captures the those distinguishing features. So this is the part where the feature extraction is really done. And then now the fully connected layer is in the end. So you have this vector that is flattened here and it connects to the output nodes. And uh, you have some activation functions. And like I said, if you have a lot of, I mean, a lot of classes with smart class, you'll use uh, these uh, softmax so is uh, it's a good fun activation function to use if you have a, more than one class. Um, as the, that's the, the one you want to predict. So this is just a brief overview of what convolution neural networks are and what, what we are going to do. When you're building networks, you'll have to specify the convolutional layer, the pooling layers, the dense layer, and so on. So this is just an overview to give you an understanding of what we're going to do in the practical part. Um, yeah, so what actually what we're going to do is this. Uh, we'll have uh, get the input, get the convolutional layer, and so on. So yeah, we should get to the programming part now. <laughs>